Today is the last day of the conference, and I want to thank God for Pastor Ed and the wonderful message. And of course, uh, God tricked you. you. You got tricked by God, and God used Pastor Sam as the instrument to do that. Because what he was actually doing is that he was seeing behind the veils. He was seeing the dissatisfaction behind the veil of success. And he was also saying the genuity of the heart. And so he knew he needed to set you up, not really to minister, and you knew that, that even if you are not going to minister, you are willing to follow him to the end of the earth. So when he was bringing you here, and despite all the impossible situation for me to be here, but God needed to make an encounter to take place. So that the thing that had been hidden in you and the dissatisfactions might be triggered into the birthing, birthing forth of a deliverer. And so, God would like to tell you that you are being initiated and being baptized in Africa. <laughs> being baptized, initiated, so that you might go crowned and covered with a, an unknown hitherto to you a, the spirit of boldness and defiance through which you will be able to stand and you will sense a man to come upon you and you will no longer think about the consequences of the words that will come out of your mouth because you will know as when you stand you stand now as an oracle of God almighty and the things that should come out of your mouth should be, will be released and broadcasted and be made known to other men. And the word shall spread quickly. And the tapes and the cities shall be distributed. And young men shall get a hold of it. Men in schools and Bible schools and seminaries. And they shall say, we know things were wrong. Even the same feelings as you've had this week will begin to arise and swell up in the midst of men and women across the nation. And God will use you to be a voice to a nation and to call back a nation back to our root. And God shall bring a people to our knees and call them into deep repentance for the destiny of their, of their land. And there shall you join the army. The army that God is raising up to turn America back to God. And you have been initiated into this army. And you have recruited your, ch your church and yourself into what we have called the shifting of the church. Americans like you, just last week and throughout last month, were coming in droves, hundreds and thousands, falling down before my feet. And begging me, falling down like they did yesterday here, weeping and saying, Pastor Sunday, you are the only hope for this country. Come and help us. Come and bring America back. But because you were not there, and God only knew that the, because of the complexities of my business and schedule and your plans, that this will never happen in a long time in a soon, in a long time soon. And God knows that no, you must be recruited to join that army. And to join a people that is standing to make America remain the beacon of hope. And so you are brought from your home to a place where you will not be distracted. And where you will sit down and suck everything in. And know that God has had you on the operation and surgery table. Doing a deep work of surgery inside your soul and spirit. So that even as you go back unaware to you, you are going back as a new man. Yeah. And when you sit and begin to minister, you will see a confirmation to the fact that the hand of God Almighty have come upon you in a new dimension. And Father Lord, I ask you tonight, Shaga can do go to go back a baba. Shagara yama gan go go gudu. 
Magaranga gaga kabaka baba. Go on your knees and receive the grace. Jagaria la moko sakaraya la bakasa. We release unto you this hour the mantle to be a reformer in the name of Jesus. The anointing to bring about national transformation. Let the mantle rest upon you even at this hour in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you honor your word and you will honor your servant. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the apostle of the house that you will use Ibadan and on your state to be the place of the bathing forth of this reformation and of this revolution. Now, God of heaven, Jagan Gudu 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 Agari Yagi Gagaku Gugu Gugu Agagi Tantu I release the grace and the mantle, the divine ability to stand for revival, to carry revival, to run and not be tired, and to bring about a lasting reformation to this land of Nigeria upon your apostle and upon your ministers that are here. Father, release unto them the grace and the mantle of God Almighty, the power from heaven and from on high to carry revival, to stand for reformation and to lead the revolution in the name of Jesus. Heal all heaven tonight and cause the earth to respond. Cause the rain of righteousness to begin to fall right now upon this land and cause the land of Nigeria to begin to respond with salvation in the name of Jesus. Thank you for anointing your servants. A new mantle of grace. A new umbrella to shake you away from false teachings and wrong preachings in the name of Jesus. The angels of God come to your service. The arm of God goes before you. The light of his presence comes to illuminate your mind. In the name of Jesus, favor and the, and the mighty hand of God begin to walk on your behalf. In Jesus name. And the people of God say, Amen. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. Now shout to God. Let's give God a round of applause and a shout. I can hear your voice of shout. You have come victory. Your voice of victory. Your voice of victory. Your voice of victory. Your voice of victory. Voice of victory. Voice of victory. Voice of victory. Victory, 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 be magnified, victory in Jesus' name, victory, victory in the name of the Lord, in Jesus' name, victory, in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Amen. Victory. 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 Victory in Jesus' name. Victory. Victory. Father, we ask you to begin to introduce another Christianity again to our land. Introduce another Christianity. 
father we ask for the magnification of the name of christ come magnify that name in nigeria once again come lift up the authority of the risen christ and lo come repair and repair and reform the image of your cry of your body of your church in the name of jesus let the work of healing the work of reformation and the work of restoration begin from this conference god of heaven god of heaven oh my god of heaven God of heaven you have honored me beyond words and imagination my God my God here stands your servant today like Elijah stood on the mountain before the prophet Sobail he has says your servant asking for the God that appeared to me by night in a foreign land to show forth again he has sent your servant again like Moses did when he needed to face the challenge of Egypt you have shown yourself forth on my behalf before and I come before you just like you have shown yourself as the God that can do the impossible. You have written a new page of history through me. Now, heaven hear me today. Honor this your son again today. And I ask you to come and write another history of what men have said is not possible in Nigeria. Let that reformation begin from this meeting. My God, I am your friend. You made me your friend. And as your friend tonight, I ask you for this honor that a new face of Christianity will begin in Nigeria from this weekend in Jesus' name. Father God, let the revolution begin. Let the revolution begin. Let the revolution begin. Let the revolution begin. And I ask you for another thing tonight, Father. You raised me up. You did it. You did it. And now you did it among these people. Ah, from this nation. That is why I stand. And I have the right, my God, to ask for you to raise up deliverers to raise up men like me that will change this country in the name of Jesus my God they are not worse than me they are not inferior than me they eat the same food that I was fed they walk the same soil that I walked Oh God of heaven, you honored Elijah on the mountain. You honored Moses. You honored me everywhere you have sent me. Kaya, today, honor your servant by definitely putting your hand, by transferring the anointing you have placed upon me as a reformer. And it's a revolutionary for you by placing that anointing now and transferring it 
to people all over this auditorium in the name of Jesus. I release it. I release the grace of God upon you. I release the anointing, the mantle, and the mandate. Receive. Receive it. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. We rejoice in you. We rejoice in you. We rejoice. We rejoice. And we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Rejoice in God. Celebrate Jesus. Let's thank him. Let's praise him. Give him praise. In Jesus' name. Come on. Let's go, God. Let's go, God. Thank you, Lord. No, no, don't drop the don't drop the flag. While you are doing that, I saw something which we normally do in the Ukraine, and I would like us to I would like to join you in doing that prophetic act because you are led by the Spirit, and I saw that. So, 
Wait, wait, wait. So I'm going to join you and anybody that wants, we are going to, the year of Jubilee has come to Nigeria. We are going to celebrate the kingdom of God that has come. We are going to rejoice in the jubilee of God, the mercy of God, the undeserved mercy and grace of God that is visiting Nigeria starting from this place. So, anybody that wants to join us, we want to join, dance around the circle like a, wait, 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 you know the way to do it, like a ring, like a ring, like a circle. We are going to follow. It's going to be like a procession. We are going to follow the lady. She's going to lead the procession. And we are going to be in one line. One line. You could, we could hold iron or we might not hold iron. We, she's going to go in front. And we are going to go behind her. Out, and we are going to dance around like one single line and around. And we'll be coming like this. So let's rejoice in the year of Jubilee that has come upon our land. We hold it down.
Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Shebo Lomo Sophonia. Let him ride through the streets of Nigeria. You say, who is this king of kings? I tell you, he's the Lord strong and mighty. He's the one who has never fallen in battle. Lift up your hands. Holy gates. And be lifted up. The everlasting Lord. And let the Jehovah God, Lion of Judah, Bread of Heaven, Father of the fatherless, Husband of widows, King of glory, I am that I am, Ancient of days, Let him come into this place. I just want to be Dwelling there in your presence. Dwelling there in your presence. Can you bow down before the King of Glory? I don't want to worship God of Father. Draw me near to where you are. Draw me near to where you are. Can you bow down before the King of Glory? I just want to be. I just want to be. with us and no doubt it's in this place when I went to pray for the mother of Dr. Uh, Mo, 
Emiko, he was telling me of the vision that God had shown yesterday and today over the period of this conference to several people over and over again. Share that with us because we know the Lord is on our midst. Praise God. Uh, beloved, please be seated. Be seated, please. This meeting we have here the, in the last two days are definitely very, very unusual meetings. God has started something and he only knows the end of it. Yesterday morning, as the man of God was ministering, I sat at the back there. My wife was beside me and my closest friend in the battle here, Reverend Shegun Adebowale and his wife were sitting also, we were all sitting together. And as the message was going on, then at some point, Reverend Shegun Adebowale called me. He tapped me. He said, aren't you seeing? Are you seeing those people in front there? Are you seeing that cloud? Aren't you seeing the cloud? Can you see the cloud? Can you see the people there around the speaker? I said, no, I can't see. He said, can't you see them? He said, can't you see those people there? He said, can't you see that cloud? Can't you see the cloud? I said, I can't see anything. Well, I know Reverend Shekwa Debovale has a strong prophetic unction on his life. So I knew he was saying something in the spirit. And he called me again. He said, can't you see? I, I said, I can't see anything. Now that was in the morning. After a while, I just left him alone and the meeting went on. In the evening, I came with my senior sister, my wife and my senior sister, we came for the evening meeting together. And my senior sister, she is very close to the kingdom of God, but she is, I wouldn't describe her as a born again person. She is a very devoted Roman Catholic. She loves God. She's hungry for God. She was here with us in the evening. After we after the meeting ended and we went home, she kept on talking about the meeting, everything. Then at some point, she now asked me, she said, didn't you people see that cloud? Did you see that cloud? There was this cloud. I'm just trying to mimic her voice. She said, there was this cloud. Didn't people see it? She said, it came out of the congregation, then went up to the pulpit, over that man then went back into the congregation again and divided like that and came up together again and came back on the pulpit you people didn't see it she now said that it now came over the speaker and it was as if it pushed him it was pushing him pushing him to the back then at, at a point he now fell down and started crying out for mercy it was as if that cloud pushed him and pushed him and pushed him and he now fell on his knees then it came back into the congregation again and then she said this she said i felt something cold go right through my body my sister she is not somebody who hangs around pentecostal churches no she's a devoted catholic but she's hungry for god these were the things she told me yesterday evening the one in the morning was from a believer who has a strong prophetic unction on his life. The one in the evening was from somebody who I wouldn't even say is a born again Christian. But God opened her eyes. Beloved, and when such things happen, it is a testimony that heaven is comfortable in the environment. It is a testimony that the spiritual atmosphere in that particular local gathering is coming close to the same spiritual atmosphere as there is in heaven. And when such things happen, the members of heaven find it comfortable to manifest themselves upon people on the earth. We will begin to see more and more and more of such spiritual manifestations as our lives please God more and more. One thing I want to tell you about this preacher. When I met him for the first time in New York City in September of 2006, he was just coming from a meeting where he was rubbing shoulders with Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, 
Richard Branson and all the billionaires of this world. He was in a meeting with them. And coming out of that type of meeting, you would have thought his head would have been swollen up. But he came, we met at this church, and he saw me, and he ran straight to me, and knelt down before me, asking me to pray for him. <laughs> so, I looked at myself, I looked at him, I said, me and you, who is supposed to pray for each other? <laughs> But beloved, I say that to tell you about the humility of this man. The work he is doing all over this world, if it's enough to make a man's head go beyond the roof, that the hand of God that is doing it is upon his life. The message he has brought to us is not just a message for a conference. It is a lifestyle change. And I pray that God will birth it upon our lives. Just very quickly, uh, while we were dancing and celebrating, one man came to me talking about testimony. Who, who was that person? There's an elderly man that came to me. He said there is a testimony to be shared. Well, could you please stand up for recognition? I just want to encourage you. He just came, he said, there is a testimony that needs to be shared. He said, maybe the one shared yesterday, he said, but there is a testimony that needs to be shared. Not from, Not from him. He just came to announce it. All right? That is for you to know that that testimony that is shared is the release of the glory of God that upon all of us here, upon this land, upon this nation, and that we will experience it. Come on, let's just wait for answer to the Lord. Just give him glory. Hallelujah. I want to acknowledge the truth and the confirmation of the interpretation of that, prof, of that cloud that that is what we've been expecting. That is what has left the glory that has shifted. And we did, you know, the, the, the horrible thing with glory is that when it lifts, you don't notice it. It's just like when the glory left, uh, who is that? Samson. Samson. Saul. All of them, they don't notice it immediately. This, you know, like Samson, he said, I'm going to shake myself as usual. He didn't know what had happened. Even Saul and Eli, they don't notice it immediately. So, people still doing this normal old routine. That's the problem with the church in Nigeria. We are still having church. We don't know that the glory. But now, a new introduction of Christianity. The glory has come back. And from here, that glory of the kingdom will take its place in the Nigerian church in Jesus' name. Amen. But I want to say that is thanks to you, Feb, and who are the other organizers? Apostle. Maybe there are other people that I don't know, but these are the people I know, and Pastor Obed, that uh, is not here. Yeah, Pastor Obed could come as well. These are the people that I know that are to blame for this conference. They are the ones that put all these things together. He got me hooked from America. Uh, he came to the Ukraine to get to talk to me. And he kept on writing to me. And I just want to say we own our, our gratitude and, uh, to all these people for all the role that they have pay, played in making this a success. Thank you, Pastor Jay. Thank you, Pastor, for receiving us here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you for embracing the message. And thank you for taking it ahead and spearheading it and releasing it upon the nation. Where you are already blessed, the grace and the glory of God is upon you. Please, help us take this word further. Let the people, you know what I tell people? Multiply the cassettes. Go and sell it, Papa. Make money out of it. Let people, I don't, don't be afraid that you will lose money. God will compensate you. But let them go and take, buy the cassettes, compensate, make copies, sell in the market everywhere. Let the glory fill the land as the water cover the sea. Amen. Let them make money for themselves. Let them buy clothes. Let them buy shoes. Let them buy Bible. Let them just spread the world. And we will see this country turn around for God. Now, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm faced with a dilemma right now. I know 
by the time we are, we are supposed to close by now. Uh, but you know that I'm always full of what to tell you. But not for, I guess not for tonight. Because of armed robbers and we still need to fix those problems in our country. Unfortunately, in other countries, you could go as long as you want. But here, until we deal with that, we might all have to close, I guess. And, uh, but before we close, if you don't, maybe any one of you has anything to say, no? Anything to say, no? Anything to say, no?